What's happening, beautiful people? Welcome back to Great for Panic Night Reviews. I'm so glad that you stopped by, and I hope at the end of the video, you are too. And if you are, how about like, subscribe, throw us a comment down below. And if you're interested in exclusive content and members-only live streams, consider becoming a channel member as well. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the Wii Miscreant, and this is courtesy of the Apex Passaround Group, so huge shout out to David and all those guys. Um, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and get a quick panic dump and beverage check out of the way. Uh, today I was carrying the American Blade Works Model 1 version 6 in black canvas micarta. Um, I was also carrying the Buck 110 and the Leatherman Super Tool 300. Um, I had the Holiday Leatherworks uh, Leather Organizer with a i3 T EOS in orange and a Refine EP1 in brass. And the coin for today is the uh, Mendoza EDC uh, and this is the Admiral coin. Um, as far as the beverage goes, we're drinking on a little more of the uh, the 2X IPA from Southern Tier Brewing Company, and it's just based just your basic Double India Pale Ale. Doesn't really have any anything spectacular on it. 8.2 percent alcohol by volume. Uh, that's about it. Um, today. How about let's send a big old hearty Grateful Panic cheers out to uh, Brandon Thrasher, um, Grateful Panic family member and good friend, uh, Brother Thrasher. Cheers, my friend. All right. So now that we've gotten pleasantries out of the way, let's go ahead and dive on down and get up close and personal with the wee miscreant. What's going on guys? So uh, today we're going to take a look at the Wii uh, Miscreant 3.0. This is a, a titanium frame lock flipper designed by Brad Zinker. Uh, it's a cool little knife, man. I am actually surprised at how much I dig it. I honestly opted in on the uh, pack round just because it, it looked kind of crazy and I wanted to check it out. But uh, there she is right there. Um, yeah, I, it really, really surprised me how much I ended up liking this knife. Uh, and I'll get to the why uh, very shortly. But before I get to the why, let's go ahead and knock these specs out and boring crap out of the way and we can uh, get down to the good stuff. But we have overall length of 6 and 7 eighths inches, a blade length of 3 inches with a cutting edge of 2 and 3 quarters inch. We have a blade width of 750 thousandths and a blade stock thickness of 120 thousandths. <clears throat> it is a uh, full flat grind a drop point blade and uh, this is some 20 CV uh, blade steel we have a handle length of 3 and 7 8 inches got a handle width of 7 8 of an inch and a handle thickness of 360 thousandths so he's a skinny little dude super light too as Cletus will attest Cletus I'm gonna tell you what son if you keep jumping the gun you and me are gonna have a problem you might be replaced hello Cletus so tell us how much this knife weighs buddy all right well Cletus says 64.8 grams for our friends across the pond and 2.29 ounces so yeah it's a super light little knife and I'm gonna tell you what even though it's only got one 
uh, deployment method. It is a fidgety little bugger. You see here, there is uh, just the slightest of uh, lock bar reliefs on this knife. Uh, the the lock bar itself is kind of kind of nifty there. How you see it's cut all the way through. It goes straight through those speed holes. It is a black titanium handle with black stainless steel hardware. A uh, nice deep carry pocket clip. It's not inset into the titanium at all, but those screws are countersunk, so it goes in and out of the pocket with the greatest of ease. <clears throat> it's mostly uh, all the way around uh, fully open construction. It does have this small titanium backspacer right here and a lanyard hole. And I know you're looking at that handle, you're saying, man, it looks like just a block of metal and it don't look very comfortable at all, but honestly, I mean, it's just, it's a very neutral handle shape and uh, I'm digging it for sure. It's not really going to drop shut on you. You kind of got to give it a, some shakes there, but uh, the action is super smooth, super snappy. I mean, that is a, just one snappy little knife. The only thing we really got on the blade is the uh, is Brad Zinker's uh, maker's mark there. And then if you can see it right there, uh, CPM 20 CV on the flip tab. Other than that, pretty daggum sterile, which I like. You do, of course, have the Wii logo right there. <clears throat> and uh, on the entire knife, that's it. Just the... Uh, the Wii logo, um, you got Maker's Mark, and then the uh, blade steel. So very, very minimal uh, billboarding. I would say no billboarding at all. It's just uh, got a few little marks here and there. Uh, it feels great in hand. Uh, it is a smaller knife with a three-inch blade, three and seven-eighths inch handle. But I mean, I can get get all even behind that uh, flipper tab there. I get all four fingers on her. Uh, you can it has what I would call a ginormous sharpening choil I don't really think that's a finger choil per se but you can kind of choke up on it there if you're careful if you're getting in a getting a tight spot want to do some some of that detail work that we do so much of um, but yeah as far as why I like it I'm gonna compare it to a couple of knives that I uh, and these are there's some, a couple of my favorite knives. One of them does not belong to me. It is a pass around knife, but I have had uh, this model in the past. The other does belong to me and is one of my all time favorite, just uh, out and about everyday lightweight carries. And that's the Asher uh, Flashback. This one is a little bit more drop shutty than the, than the Miscreant is, but the action is what's uh, similar to me. It's just got that, that snappy action. Uh, if any of you guys have or have had a Finch Holiday, it's kind of got that same sort of action. And not to mention, they are right around the same size. And the other knife that it reminds me of <clears throat> is the uh, Monterey Bay Knives uh, EZC 1.5. And this one is in shred carbon fiber. It is a uh, inset liner lock, just like... The flashback is but it's got that same snappy action and uh, that's I don't know I, I like either just a big authoritative uh, action or a uh, you know quick little snappy action when it comes to fidgeting especially and honestly when, when it comes to flippers I definitely prefer just that quick little little snappy action just it's very very satisfying to me but as you can see these three knives are all very similar in size uh, matter of fact they're probably very similar in weight too hello again Cletus nice of you to join us twice in one session uh, 2.39 on the flashback and uh, 2.30 on the uh, EZC. So yeah, these all three of these are 
right around the same weight, right around the same size, and uh, very, very similar, very similar in action. Um, so if, uh, I don't know, it kind of works out if, if you have or have had a miscreant and liked it, stands to reason you'd like both of these and any combination of the three that you want to look at if you have a flashback you're probably going to like the miscreant and the easy c vicey versi versi vicey all the way around bob's your uncle um so yeah all in all it is a pretty daggum fantastical knife i highly recommend it if if now you're into the uh small lightweight just snappy action sort of knives i don't see any reason why you would not like this let's get a uh behind the edge measurement to see just how slicey it is i feel like it's going to be rather slicey 16 thousandths yeah so it's going to be a slicey little bugger if you feel like you know slicing some cheese someday or just messing around just slicing anything you can just slice away slice to your little heart's content um but yeah so like i said fantastic little knife uh i think we this is one of the i'm not a big fan of weed but they really knocked it out of the park on this one and check out check out that lockup lockup is on point right on time not too early not too late solid as a rock on the lockup which is strange because as light as this knife feels it feels like you could just bend it in half but yeah it's a sturdy little fella but yeah that's the uh that's the wee mis miscreant not the biggest fan of speed holes guys but i gotta say on this knife it actually kind of works uh it reminds me of of the old uh the old ballet songs with the, the holes all down the handles kind of that style kind of a martial arts style knife don't know that it was designed for that or if it even resembles that to anybody else but it just kind of gives me that martial artsy type vibe but yeah um right now from what i'm seeing it's out of stock um on blade hq their price though when it is in stock is 169 which i think is a pretty daggone good deal man for a, a full titanium frame lock and 20 cv blade steel runs on bearings of course uh yeah i don't see that as a bad deal at all now i don't know if they're going to be getting more in stock or what the deal is with that but uh if they do highly recommend it definitely gets the great full panic seal of approval of one and three quarters thumbs up guys um but yeah, so there it is. The old Wee Miscreant 3.0. And I, from what I hear, uh, the older Miscreant, and this was told to me, I believe, in a live stream, uh, the older Miscreant went out for cigarettes one night and just never came back. So we are left with uh, the 3.0. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. You guys are more than welcome to come back anytime. Until next time, guys, get on out there, get to see your ass off, and do something nice for somebody. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.